All right, right now we want to take you back to 1965, a time when school integration was a big topic, and Rochester was in the national spotlight for establishing the Urban Suburban Program. It started with 25 minority students from Rochester going to the West Rondequoit School District to be taught there. And the program evolved and made headlines where white children from the suburbs were sent to city schools as well. And enrollment was highest, I believe, in 1978. A thousand students were in the program back then. Then in 1981, federal funding was cut off. Yet still, several school districts in Monroe County voluntarily continued the urban suburban program through the BOCES program. And this is all to help reduce racial isolation and enhance ethnic awareness still to this day. And to talk about this program, my guest is Jessica Lewis. She's the community liaison for Monroe BOCES number one. Now, the district's still participating, because I want to mention this too Brighton, Brockport, Fairport, Penfield, Pittsburgh, West Arondeboy, and Wheatland China. I really, a shout out to them because it takes a lot of effort on the parent's side, the teacher's side, and the district side. Wouldn't you agree? Absolutely. And right now, there's over 500 students still participating. Why don't you tell how things are, have changed or evolved to this point? Well, right now, yes, we have over 500 students who currently participate in the program. We work with those seven districts. Um, students have to apply. Their parents have to apply for them to be in the program, and they go through an interview and a selection process. Well, you're the great person to interview because you went through the program yourself with West Arondequoit. Yes. What were the things that you, you saw as an advantage as a student? As a student, I saw that um, I was able to learn from different people. I was able to expand my comfort zone and kind of just, you know, really just learn and kind of enhance you know, what I already had. Right. Well, and you sent me some of these pictures, and I think it really shows and it takes us back that it was kind of the leading edge where children were put together. They probably didn't even really care that they were in the program, but the adults were so interested to find out how this was going to work. Do you think the history of this program really um, has shown the success that this is really worthy of our dollars and our tax dollars? Absolutely. How so? Absolutely. Um, we have graduated over thousands and thousands of students and who have gone on to do magnificent things. So just our alumni being the, le the living legacy of this program just really shows what that commitment does. Right. And you mentioned alumni, and that's another reason why you came here today, because you decided you wanted to try to put out the word out there to get the alumni together. What for? Yes, because in just a few years, Urban Suburban will be turning 50 years old. Right. So again, that living legacy, we must get together to celebrate the history of this program. How are you going to do that? Well, we're going to have an alumni association meeting. Okay. So right now we're trying to just spread the word to everybody in the community, letting them know that Urban Suburban alumni, we are looking for you to come back home. All right. And then possibly reunions down the road. Oh, absolutely. The, the 50th anniversary absolutely. coming up in 2015. Well, that's why we wanted to put it out there, because it is a little hard, even with social media, to get everybody together. So that meeting is coming up October 1st, 630 at the Brighton District Office on Monroe Avenue. We've linked up information at WHEC.com. But Jessica, thanks for joining us today. and telling everybody about this new program. So Thanks for having me. Thank you.